What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Deluxe, but you guys can call me D4. Today, we're going to be showing you the two best dynamite fishing spots in the game that I've found so far. And let me know if you guys have found a better one, but these are the two that I've found. What we're really looking for is we're looking for two spots that have a little bitty pond or small bit of water where we can concentrate the fish that they will spawn and then use our dynamite to of course blow them up and to rank up as we go through and blow the fish up now we need the more concentrated fish in a little bit of spot that's the key to this so when we get that that's when you know so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to stay in roads and i'm going to show you a little spot that not many people figured that there would be fish that spawn there and then I got a second one for you guys that you can check it out too, which is pretty easy and I've shown you already on one of my videos. But this first spot is a new spot and let's go ahead and go in and check this thing out. All right, guys, so looking at the map right here, we have the fence that's outside of roads and that little bitty pond right there that you see, that's where we're going. But I'm gonna show you how quick it is to get dynamite, go back to the spot, blow the fish up, get ranked up as quick as you can. Remember, you can do this strat 10 times to go all the way through this thing 10 times to get all the xp that you can but again we're starting at the fence and we're going to that little pond that's how far you got to go on this one so we're taking off as fast as we can and it's going to take us just about five or six seconds to get there and once we get there we got it that's all you need you need a little bit of money you need some dynamite and we are already here so this is the spot right here once you get here break out your fishing pole and just wait for the fish to spawn. Now, the further back you are, the more concentrated they will be in the back of this little puddle. Um, I'm gonna do a little fishing just to, you know, why not go ahead and catch a fish or so. But the only thing that's gonna spawn in this whole thing is going to be perch or brim. And they're a decent size, but of course, they don't go for a lot of money. So we're not doing this to catch a big fish. There's no large fish that spawn in this little pond. It's kind of an extension of the pond that's behind me. So there's only going to be about eight fish that spawn in this little pond. And again, they're only going to be brim or perch. But remember, if you want to see if what's actually in the pond, uh, if you want to hold your rod out and then hit down on both of your joysticks, then you can see exactly what's in the pond. And I'm just doing a little fishing here, like I said, just to catch a fish, have a little fun. But it doesn't matter. You don't have to fish at all. You can just hold your rod in your hand and uh, they will start spawning. So it's not a big deal. But I just want to show you what's actually in this thing. A couple bluegill, perch, brim, however you want to say it. Um, those are going to be spawning there. And as you see, I see I have a couple right here. Then once you get enough that you think you need to go ahead and get your dynamite out, get your dynamite, throw it back in that thing and blow it up. Now we'll say this, once you blow up this little spot, for whatever reason, the fish disintegrate. They're like gone. So if you want to catch fish, then catch fish. But if you want to blow them up, you're literally going to blow these things up and they're not going to be found anywhere in this little portion right here. So Again, if you're going to blow it up, try to get this uh, award, then no fish for you. But that's exactly what we're doing here, seeing how many we got. We got two, three, four, maybe three-ish. Uh, and they kind of spawn in the very, very back. So you try to stay on land just a little bit, um, maybe not toes in the water too much because uh, it seems like it takes some little time. But now we got at least four there, four different uh, streams of bubbles, and boom, there you go. That's exactly what you got to do for this one. Pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. But like I said, no fish. They are gone. There is no fish whatsoever. So if you want one, that's no bueno. Not going to be there. But uh, anyways, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and go on to our second spot. But I figured you really like that spot because, one, it's by the fence where you can get some more dynamite. And, two, it's in a perfect triangle with the butcher. So if you do catch some fish, you can run over to the butcher, get some money, buy some dynamite, come back to the spot, and all in about, I don't know, two seconds. This thing's pretty dang quick. But anyways, let's go ahead and head over to the next spot. All right, guys, for our second spot, you've probably already guessed it, but I'm going to show you anyways how easy it is to use the dynamite to fish here. And that is at our mansion house that we put in a couple videos before this, which was our secret spot. And this is in St. Denis, if you want to check it out. Um, it is the little mansion spot there. And once you get to the back, of course, all you got to do is get off that fishing rod just like you did in the place before. The fish will start spawning. But in this one, you're going to be able to not only, you know, kill the fish and get your XP, but you're going to be able to pick them up 
to uh, cash them in. I will say this. If you use a dynamite against a sturgeon, you're only going to get about $2.90, where if you killed it and it was perfect, then you're going to be able to cash that thing in for $7.25. So that is a thing in this one. Uh, you will take some damage on your bank account if you do blow them up. So what I would suggest is that you go in and you kill them with either a bow, either the varmint rifle, or you catch them with your fishing pole, and then go ahead, and once you get them out, go ahead and blow up the other fish that are in there, because they're still going to be fishing there. But that's up to you. But without further delay, let's go ahead and switch over to the part where we blow these things up, and I'll show you what happens. All right, guys, we're ready to blow these things up and uh, have a little toss right here. And it seems to go always to the back wall there, and boom, we got our 500 XP and we killed some fish. And of course, we killed a sturgeon. And we're going to go pick that bad boy up. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. And also, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, you'll use these to uh, rank up as quick as you can. We'll see you. Bye-bye.